Welcome to another episode of Outdoor Defense. I had a thought while I was up here and I figured, you know, I might as well talk to you all while I'm here. I want to talk to you about being self-sufficient and how powerful that can be. I took this trip as a solo trip, as I've done many times before, but as I was driving here, I thought about how powerful it is to know that you're self-sufficient, to know that I checked off the boxes that I needed to ensure that I was as prepared as possible for this trip. Things like making sure that my car's tires are properly inflated, I have gas, I have extra water, making sure that I have a charger, making sure that I let someone know where I was going and my proposed itinerary in case there is some sort of an accident, I sprained my ankle or something and I need help people know where I am and where I'm kind of expected to be so that if something goes wrong or they don't hear from me, they can come find me. Also, the fact that I know how to hike solo, I know what to carry with me as far as water and food and supplies. I always carry an emergency blanket and a uh, a headlamp and a first aid kit just in case and then my self-defense skills my self-defense skills knows uh, lets me know that i can handle myself wherever i am i can talk to people i can you know use my boundary setting skills i can really trust my intuition and keep myself safe as i go out and explore the world solo or something feels weird then i can take action as i need to in order to make sure that i can stay as safe as possible are self-sufficient it really just opens up your world i was driving up to the sunset point uh, sunrise point this morning and it's pitch black at four in the morning there's like one or two other cars on the road all i'm sure heading to the same spot and i just thought to myself i'm here all by myself and i'm driving and it's fine and you know what if my i got a flat tire or something i can change a flat tire if i you know something happened my car overheated it's not hot but if it overheated i know how to handle that you know it's it's having these skills to be prepared no matter what life throws at you allows you to fully enjoy life and that's the skills that i want to help you um, have and be able to um, uh, improve so that you also can open up your world.